What's up YouTube? It's Todd Horst here with Stacey Trekker, another small account challenge update. Uh, this one's going to be pretty quick. I actually haven't opened up anything new, but it's been so long since I've done an, up done an update that I thought I would just go ahead and do so now to catch you uh, everyone up. So the last video I did was back here on 820-ish, and that's when I had opened up Amazon and Sedge and closed DocuSign. And since then I've closed Baba, 83 profit, Microsoft 81 profit, Facebook 96, Coop, uh, it was 160 total, uh, Shop 93, Sedge uh, 70, and then I closed uh, XBI. That was just kind of a scratch when um, XBI looks like it could go up from here, but I didn't feel like risking it, so I got out while I could for a super small profit. And then just today, I got 185 profit um, from from shop. So uh, I haven't opened up any positions, uh, mainly because I don't really feel comfortable with where the market's at and with the news coming up. I still want to maintain some exposure. So I've got three positions here. Um, and if we go over to my positions, we can see I have uh, 1,500 allocated. And so if I lost 1500, um, you know, I, I still have 4000 in cash, double what I started off with. Um, and, and at this point, if I were to push it hard and the market cooperated, I could be done in a month. Um, but I, I don't want to obviously push it hard and risk everything going belly up um, just because I'm trying to rush to get it over with. So uh, at this point, yeah, I, I would rather hold on and slowly keep around 1500 to 2000 in the market at risk until things sort of calm down. So what I'm looking for, I guess, is um, most of the stocks ha have, you're in like sort of two categories. One has gone exponential um, and the other ones are super weak. Uh, sometimes showing signs of life, but then other times um, still rolling over and dying. So um, if you're paying for my uh, pro tier, then uh, I have still been putting on positions. I put on three yesterday and one today of a couple tickers that look okay. Um, but, but even then, those are still riskier bets. And again, I'm trying to maintain some exposure. So if the market continues to move up from here, I will um, be able to profit from it. Uh, so it's, I'm not completely sitting out, but if the market were to have a severe correction, I wouldn't be, um, uh, I wouldn't lose my account and be severely upset that um, that it had happened. So um, let's see if we can just go to trading view. So we can see SPY here is obviously the higher it goes, um, the more time it's going to have to consolidate to ensure that it wants to get over there. But we can see on the 20 day, it very frequently will come down here, tap the 20 day and then bounce up. Well, at this point, it's hard to argue that we're not at an extreme. So we are at an extreme here. Um, in case my double negative was messing with you. Um, so I would definitely expect here to touch the 20 day somewhere around 343, 345, somewhere in that range. Uh, so kind of loop down if we want to do a, a nice and pretty chart. Um, and that would be a, a stable approach. Um, it's also super possible that we correct down here to uh, 330 um, or even you know three 325 ish area and 320 at the worst I would imagine that the 50 day 50 day will act as a support here um, but you never know so let's go to like Amazon okay um, so we can see this chart doesn't look um, insane like exponential 
but it's it's also you're also talking about Amazon, which is a thirty five hundred dollar stock. So to be making these kind of climbs is a little unquestioned for I think e even though they've sort of been held down by um, you know political and um, and then the virus and everything like that for the past year a little bit uh, I still think we're getting to a point where it's quite absurd um, now we we did see a bit of a correction like in W which uh, I thought was nice um, but but there again I I could definitely see a pullback down to the 50, um, and that would make a sort of nicer trajectory from where we had been climbing. This is sus sustainable-ish. Um, it's still a nice, still a climb, so, um, but this is just a little bit extended, in my opinion. So anyway, my whole theory here is I will get to 10 uh, soon enough, um, and I'm already at six, so there's no point in um, you know, trying to to force it uh, by any means. And for now, I'll just run with these three positions. Um, as soon as one of these closes, though, uh, yeah, Amazon's getting a bit close, uh, 40%. So if we had a couple good days, that would close. Um, and then I would open up uh, one or two more positions in its place, again, keeping around 1,500 to 2,000. So that's all I have for today. Let me know if you have any questions.